now the latest on May 20th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. No name storms are active today in the wide world of tropics. 25 storms have formed so far this year and there are a few systems that could develop over the next few days in various different places. You're probably familiar with some of them already from previous updates and from what you've seen elsewhere. In the Atlantic, Invest 90L has formed and now has a 50% chance of development according to the National Hurricane Center, uh, most likely subtropical. Day 6 of the East Pacific hurricane season still holds 91E off the south coast of Mexico there. In the Western Pacific and the North Indian Ocean, there are no storms or any invests active, nothing that could develop anytime soon. And down in the Southern Hemisphere, Invest 95P is still active just to the north of Fiji. We are continuing to watch that. Time's running out though. Here is the latest on 95P, 30 miles an hour, 1,006 millibars, highlighting today's tropical weather bulletin. 12 miles from Rochuma in Fiji, it's right on top of it really, 12.5 south, 177.3 east. Not expected to become a tropical storm anymore and is likely to dissipate by the end of Tuesday, if not maybe just a little bit later than that. Wind shear in the Atlantic looks like this, prohibitively high amounts where that invest might be forming very soon, so that'll be interesting to see. Over there in the eastern Pacific, it is starting to uh, creep in from the north there, that high wind shear as well. Um, on the wind shear graphic, this is for Invest 90L, I believe, but something's happened to the graphics and we can't see exactly what the wind shear values are showing, but there is some satellite imagery nonetheless. We wanted to show you 95P in this section, unfortunately that hasn't worked either. Let's take a look at the wide shot of the North Atlantic right now. You can see that bulk of clouds just to the east of the Bahamas, which is where this system could develop from uh, in the next two or three days. Um, elsewhere, the Atlantic's looking very quiet indeed. Uh, again, always in the corner of our eye, looking towards the northwest there over the United States. Another severe weather um, situation developing this evening, ahead of a much larger one tomorrow evening we're expecting. In the eastern Pacific, things looking pretty quiet, apart from that invest which is parked towards the east and not looking that great either, uh, but the rest of the eastern Pacific is very bare, um, nothing developing here anytime soon. A bit of cloudiness over there towards the western central Pacific, but uh, dissipating. The western Pacific looks like this, one or two very weak systems down there near the uh, Marshall Islands by the looks of things. Uh, further towards the west into the Philippine Sea, very little going on, very dry still um, and we're still waiting for any more systems. In Australia and the South Pacific you can see Invest 95P on the right hand side there. Not looking quite as good I must say um, compared to previous days and over there in the Indian Ocean a bit of convection bubbling up in the equatorial regions but really very little going on in the basin as well. So a pretty quiet day all around really when all is packed in. Sea surface temperatures look like this, around 30 degrees where Invest 91E is. In the Atlantic, SST is fairly, uh, well, just about marginal 26, 27. Over there in the South Atlantic, around 26 degrees where a system could be developing, by the way. We'll show you some imagery right at the end. In the Indian Ocean, temperatures around 29 or 30 degrees pretty much across the board in the Northern Hemisphere, cooling down obviously in the South. The Western Pacific also very warm, 30 in the Philippine Sea. Where 95P is, it's around 29 degrees Celsius, so still very warm and maybe it might just become a very brief short-lived tropical storm. It would have to do it probably in the next 24 hours if it's going to happen. Well, here is the latest satellite imagery. Uh, it looks like all of that cloudiness towards the uh, east of this system could possibly be holding it back as well as that high wind shear which is uh, over the system. I believe it's still quite high over the storm right now, um, although it could be creeping towards lower values since it has moved further south in the last 24 hours. Um, wind shear was initially very high towards the north which really impeded this system's progress in the last two or three days. Convection really not there though in its entirety so I'm not sure what's going on with that. This is what's going on in the South Atlantic right now. There is a disturbance taking shape and one or two models suggesting that it could become a tropical or subtropical cyclone in the next few days. We'll be watching this very closely and we'll probably know a lot more about this this time tomorrow in the next tropical weather bulletin but that is something to look at in the next 24 hours in particular. 
So the first name in the Atlantic will be Andrea. Could come from that system 90L in the Atlantic. In the Eastern Pacific, Alvin is your first name. And in the Central Pacific, Akoni will be the next name on the list. In the Western Pacific, the next name is Sepat. In the North Indian Ocean, it's Vayu. You can visit Force 13's outlets, the website, force13.com, with the latest. You can also, of course, if you're not there already, our YouTube channel, search Force 13. Subscribe if you haven't already. And you can also find Force 13 on Facebook and Twitter. Search Force 13 all in text at Force 13 on Twitter. The next name in Australia is Blake, and the next name in the Fiji region is Rita. Could it form out of Invest 95P? Time is running out. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also contact me on Discord. It's fool13 at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. You can also find our server link to our Discord server for tropical weather chat in our description.